Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to Hilal Live. Thanks for joining us on Channel 347 uh, on DSTV as well. As we do, we invite interesting people doing wonderful work in and around our beautiful city. Today, we've got Shian Domingo, who is very pas- passionate about a, an is- initiative that um, she you know, posts on various social media platforms, but more importantly, tries to spread the word. And also, as part of the Chris Sister uh, Club that we had uh, a couple of uh, weeks ago as well. Shiam, assalamu alaikum. Welcome. Salam. Shukran for having me. My Lovely absolute to, pleasure. Love it to have Shyam. Yeah, as, as you said, Shyam is a food fairy on the yep. Chris Sister magazine, uh, magazine um, uh, a lot. But what is so wonderful about the group is that these people that make these amazing things. Right. So Shyam is not only a great cook right. and makes wonderful food, our own food, the food that we come from, yeah. but she also creates marvelous products yeah. over and above. She'll tell us all the other stuff that she does. She, she, she does foraging. She does all sorts of things that she can explain to us what that is. But, um, but very interesting. And I'm glad that she um, agreed to join us today. Well, to thank you for sense. arranging yeah. it. And uh, if you've ever needed a PR person, <laughs> I know he's the to best. your right is your best <laughs> your person you can ask. You know, I think it's very good for, for for you and for the for the show to have just you know a, a, a mix variety. of interesting people oh, and right. kind of see what what people are doing yeah. to survive and to kind of you know exactly. as, a, as not even a side hustle or a side hustle can become your main uh-huh. you know, in a form of income and stuff and the creativity that it involves. Absolutely. Yes. So he's had his twelve minutes. We we're going to chat to you now. <laughs> <laughs> Always love having Fayim in, in studio as well and. Uh, Shiam, tell us more. You're, you have a wonderful initiative. You, you do wear a few hats. Uh, I but do. Tell, tell us yeah. about the one that you're here to discuss in studio. So at the moment, yes, the big hat is creative producer. So to create with what is around me, to create with what is abundant, to create with what is in season. Okay. Um, I chatted to a food scientist earlier today who spoke about the way that we cook in Islam. And the mm. history of that cooking is also that we cooked with what was seasonal. Correct. Um, and that is how we pickled and we preserved and our achas and all of those were made with what is seasonal. So what I'm currently doing is looking at what is also indigenous, okay. what is seasonal and what is good for us. Because I'm beginning at, at the age that I am, you sort of have yeah. to think twice about what, how what many you put you're mouth. putting in your mouth <laughs> and the amount of butter that goes into the butter chicken. True. And it's, it's delicious to eat and it's yeah. nostalgic, but it's... It's, it's also it's unhealthy. It's also, yes. And then I look at those spices and I look at the nutmeg that goes in there. It's medicine. Mm. The cinnamon is medicine. Mm. The cardamom. Correct. They're all those seeds. The yeah. Almighty intended for medicine. Of course. But we're taking it indifferently. So I'm mm. looking at the medicine that is around us. And like okay. over here, I brought some that I know as um, siranks. Okay. Um, and I was surprised that you didn't I, know what I, I think. I, you grew up very posh, you didn't play in the field. <laughs> no, and you no, didn't get hungry only, outside. If <laughs> only. He didn't grow up in Cape Town. I didn't grow up in Cape Town. I grew up in Cape Town. Cape Town. Cape Town. So, ah, you know, it's a little different. So this is, yeah. yeah. And so. these are, you, you see them everywhere, right? They, they currently, because it's winter, they're yeah. out everywhere. It's really good for your heart and it's okay. packed with vitamin C. Okay. But they go with something that's in season now called waterblomekis that grow yes. on our lakes. We know that, yes. And to balance the flavor of waterblomeki, you, you use a serang. So what type of taste is it? Is it like a spice? It's sour. sour. It's like okay. lemon. Right. It's like, yeah. Okay. Gotcha. So it's a tarty taste and you can use it in your salads and whatnot. So just okay. as an example, this is what is in season and abundant now. And okay. And, 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 and and how beautiful because it's flu season mm. yes. as well. So, yes. you know, that's going to add to our citrus intake. Absolutely. Right Along there. with this, that's in season now is the bitter basis where you see these beautiful yellow daisies everywhere when you drive by the ocean. Yes. Every one of those daisies becomes a bunch of berries. Wow. That becomes that. a highly nutritious fruit when okay. it turns wow. a dark. Mm. So that's the kind of thing I'm, 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 I'm doing now um, and looking at doing more of. Okay. Uh, just to show sort of what I, the, the, the sea moss gel, which... A lot of people know is the craze at the moment. Mm-hmm. Um, it's something that I've been making for my family throughout lockdown because a friend walking on the beach mm-hmm. had showed me this this um, specific seaweed and okay. seaweed, and from mm-hmm. her childhood, mm-hmm. remembered how it would be cooked up and made. And then for me to only recently find out that this thing that I've been making for so long mm-hmm. is actually the same thing as the Irish sea moss. So what's and the same. what's the health benefits uh, behind that? It's got ninety two different um, minerals. 
In 92. Uh, it wow. is wow. good for your joints. It's an anti-inflammatory. It is okay, a I'll boost. Take a case. It, it gives a huge <laughs> boost of energy. Yeah. There, there is a specific. So you can take it intravenously as well. You take it. You take it in. Yes. So, so once or twice a day. Uh, once a day, like a because okay. I make it really strong, and I think that because it is everything is is organic. Like the, this, this has this one. I flavor it with a little bit of ginger and honey. Okay. And I recently received some baobab from a friend in Polokwane, so mm. I added baobab as well because they wow. have similar properties, mm. and baobab is also yeah. an indigenous uh, food that we don't yeah. use enough. Mm. Mm. Um, so a half a teaspoon in the morning and you have energy for the whole day. Wow. But also you're getting your intake of vitamins yes. and minerals from the environment, not processed through a factory. Right, not in a pole uh, form. That not we, in a pole we, form. We and not. Yeah. Yes. Because yeah. yeah. yes, that's also, you know, it depends on the person. It may not work for everyone. Yes. And some of those vitamins may only be, you know, half good for you, yes. and the others just go to waste as well. Okay. So this one's packed 92 minerals. 92 minerals. That oh, wow. And that just comes from the sea moss. That's when, just, when you say so sea moss, what, what, what do you mean? It's sort of like... It's a, it's a type of seaweed. Okay. So this okay. is it. This is, is it after it's been bleached by the sun. It's looked like uh, the stuff that when you pack gifts and... You know, yes, yes. yes. But <laughs> it's seaweed. Yeah, yeah. So if you, if you smell it, you'll smell it. It smells right. a little... Fishy and so yes. there, there mm. it's more fishy. This would be less fishy, but this is then also more filled with iodine than once it's been dried by the sun. It's still got iodine, but here it's got more. And you do all, you do that all yourself, the drying, the process of drying. I, I gather what? and dry and yes, well that that normally becomes a weekend for my husband and I. And we go out to Betty's Bay mm. and Royal Elts where they've got clean blue beaches. You'll yes. find it on our beaches here, but I wouldn't mm. because of the boats yeah. and the and, oil and, and the. Yeah. And no problem with us taking this away from the sea. I mean, there isn't. Uh, I have a permit. Oh, you have a permit. You have there a permit, but you also, at the time that you take it, it's being washed up. Okay. And just before that, actually, on those specific beaches, people come and clean uh -huh. the the the, the, the seaweed, uh, seaweed off, off the, the beaches. So you're doing them a favor as well. You, 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 you should yeah. be paying me for this. Mm. Yeah. We, well, in, in that sense, what I am doing is now there's a daily opening in the area, and I'm working with women in the area to teach them how to harvest what is abundant. Brilliant. We've got things like some of our muscles are invasive. so. Yes. We need to bring those muscle numbers down. Mm. So teaching them to pickle, to smoke and bottle, and then we'll have a range in the deli that is helping the and ecosystem. And where is that deli helping. going to be based? It's in Betty's Bay. In Betty's Bay. Yes. Wonderful. I was there a couple of weekends ago. Um, the little jar that uh, you've got. The little jar, I mean, the name on my, on my label is called OCD. 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 Okay. OCD. Right. So like it comes the... from the name OC. Right. Um, <laughs> OCs, the OCs were the women, if you, if, well, when I asked a young person not too long ago, she said to me, an OC is the domestic worker. <laughs> and, and historically, the OCs were the matriarchs, oh. the women that were knowledgeable about the plants that were food and medicine. And part of what I do is dream walks. And the OCs would take girls mm. on dream walks nice. where they would walk through the felt and learn about the plants that are food and medicine, learn to look at the animals and the insects and what they're doing and how mm. they're engaging with the environment. Mm -hmm. So this is a little balm that I make, and okay. it's specifically for women. I can't show you how to use okay, it because gotcha. it's, the oils in it is, mm. is, is also made by women, but it's for women to start touching each other in the energy of medicine. Because okay. that's what uh, the ancestors of this land would do. Mm. They would gather. It's like when we have a henna mm -hmm. before, mm -hmm. our, before our weddings and whatnot. It's, yes. it's women touching each other and, 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 and celebrating together. Yes, and, mm. and holding each other in mm. strength. Mm. So the oils that are put in here, like there's miang and ruban in there as well, but oh, then there's right. also mm. a little bit of mpepo, which is the natural sage from here, mm. um, and, and some other oils as well. Brilliant. Yeah. So what, what can we look yes. forward to in the future? You've got so much happening. Are there any new ventures that you are embarking on? It's for me right mm. now. The it, it is really working harder on 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 what is seasonal and how to be harvesting that and and and, and sharing that knowledge with more people. Mm. Um, for now, that is the the main dream. And you can do it all year round, right? Depending you can do on the what, seasons whatever the, and the yeah, environment yeah. is permanently so that, yeah. giving us different things. Yeah. So cool. Do you have you know a bit of a, a social media page going where people can follow you, learn more, find out more? I'm awful. I'm in the op process of opening an Instagram page. Well, I have one, but I'm going to use it more effectively. Right. Um, but it's my my personal Facebook page. But the Domingo Effect Roots Food will be okay. will be be coming out more once the deli's open that by mid September. Yeah. Uh, Domingo Effect is the name of a company, okay. and by yes. now she should really have. 
gotten herself uh, together to have a Facebook page because the stuff that she does is incredible. Yeah. Yeah. It's been, I've, I've done work for the Embassy of the Netherlands. What, what has also been in this process, what has been fantastic is I come out of media and marketing. Right, right. exactly. I've done it for 15 years. So I should know to have high resolution pictures and whatnot, but everything mm. in the process of doing this work has been extremely organic. Mm. And has been holding me with the right people. Nice. So there is a fear to put it out there. But it's also a process. It that is you a have process, to go yeah. Through as and well. it, it's something, it's, it's information, it's sacred information almost. So you have to be mm. careful about who you share it with. Because gotcha. yeah. I've done productions where people sort of come and they come because oh, they've yeah. already got a rooibos farm and now they want to learn how to use our other herbs. Mm. <laughs> and then you have to have the discernment to know this knowledge can't NDAs. be shared now. That's all, that's, yes. that's the, so that's the buzzword. Yeah. NDAs, yeah. that's all I can you say. Know, you know what is good? There's, I think it's still very good for you to be able to document and fo by photographing it yes. so that you have it you may not necessarily share it or, yes. or you know you decide later on but then at least you can document it so that you have that documented so mm. I'm not going to let you off on this one because you come <laughs> in 50 years of marketing Shiam, thank you so much for coming into studio <laughs> Shukran so much all the very best with everything that you're doing and you know it can only grow from strength to strength Inshallah. and it can also help Inshallah. some of us that have certain you know, ailments and challenges as well and you know we I, I, I resonate towards natural stuff. I, you know, I try and stay away from the medical issues. Yes. Yeah, no, I love the, the natural stuff. So all the very best. I'm going to try some of these uh, yeah. definitely as well. And uh, Fahim, thanks once again for coming into studio. It's always a pleasure. You must try that for your all day energy. I will definitely. Right I need it. We've got bricks coming up next week. I need the energy. <laughs> yeah. That's all we have for you for what's on on a Friday. Coming up after the break, Askab Job uh, gives us a little bit, a few tips around uh, get moving and uh, how to just get out there and enjoy our beautiful country. You are still watching Hilal Live.